Over the last month, I've done one thing that's completely transformed my health. I'm down nearly six pounds. I'm able to push my training harder than ever. I've never been this productive, and the best thing is it didn't take any extra time. I've spent the last four weeks walking every day with a weighted vest. On the internet, they're calling this rucking, and I'm gonna show you how I got such crazy results in such a short period of time today. This is gonna be great for you, but also for your nutrition clients to take things to the next level, so let's go. Okay, so you probably really the benefits of daily movement in general and this has been well shown in both the science and you've probably realized it on your own if you take around 8,000 steps per day and population based data has shown this if you take around 8,000 steps per day you're not gonna gain any weight and obviously you could eat that all back but generally the person that's doing that is moving so much that you know, they're taking care of their health, they're doing all the things that they should be, and it burns enough calories that you maintain your weight, which given, you know, the rising obesity rates, this is something that's super important. But as we're discussing today, there's ways to make these steps even more effective. Not only can you get outside, move around a bit, there's health benefits to that, but you can also increase the productivity of the steps you're taking by adding in some weight. So here's how I got started with this stuff. The first thing that you should think about doing is like step one, you almost wanna think about this as something you need to prepare for. It isn't just something that you're gonna start doing. You could do that, but you may run into issues. I actually had a student tell me that, you know, think about if you have issues with your knees or shoulders or anything that maybe you're just heavier in general to begin with, you don't wanna add in too much weight. And Lisa gave me that tip and I was super thankful for that because it was one of those things where I eased into this stuff. Even if I was, even if I am someone that's super healthy and active to begin with, you wanna ease into it. So one of the easiest things you can do to prepare for doing this is just adding in some more movement to begin with, one to 2,000 steps per day over the course of a couple of weeks to prepare yourself for doing some weighted walking, for doing some walking with a vest and that's the easiest place to start. Okay, then once you're prepared to actually do some weighted walking, which we're gonna talk about the vest in a second, once you're actually ready to do some weighted walking, one of the easiest places you can start before you order something, before you you know buy something else, you probably already have a backpack at home and something super heavy. Some people are gonna put their backpack full of like weighted water bottles and that kind of stuff. I prefer textbooks that, you know, I'll never use again, that type of thing. This one's actually pretty good. Um, but I would put those in the actual pack. The cool thing about this process is that it's completely scalable. And I think you wanna view it as, how can I make as much progress as possible without being as intense as possible, at least invasive, not having to do anything that's super intense at the beginning to scale things up. And the backpack is the absolute best place to start. And then from there, you can move on to an actual weighted vest. All right, so this is the weighted vest that I've been using over the last month. It's one of those things I have not regret, regretted this purchase at all. It's been honestly one of the best things that I've bought in terms of actual utility and using it. I used it absolutely every single day, which is just not the case for a lot of fitness related stuff. I know so many people that buy things and they just collect dust and never use. This is something that I used every single day. I'm gonna include the actual link to this model uh, in the description below. You can check it out if you're interested in picking up one. This was a 35 pound vest and you can see that there's like, you know, little slots here where you can actually adjust the weight, which is super cool as well to make things harder or, uh, you know, not as intense you can th make things a little bit easier especially if you're going for a longer walk one of the coolest things about this process is being able to scale things up this is something that is called rucking i've been referring to it as rucking it's got a heavy military influence but that doesn't mean that these weighted carries aren't for anything i think like the actual textbook definition is just you know weight on your back you're going to see that these vests are on the front and the back you want to keep everything you know symmetrical when possible but essentially you're just walking with uh, some weight for extended periods of time and it's super helpful and it makes everything else uh, much more productive and if you're thinking about this well i just you know i hear all these like you know ex-military dudes talking about it on the internet this stuff is for everyone my 60 year old mother just like literally minutes before this uh, messaged me and thought hey i'm already doing a 30 minute walk per day should i get one of these vests you know five to ten pounds this is a perfect place for her to start and scale things up. So this is like the logical progression. Get more steps in, then think about doing something weighted. 
ideally with a backpack to see if you like it, what you're you know, capable of. Before making the move to a weighted vest, you're also gonna get less looks in your neighborhood, that kind of stuff, as you're outside. But this is the right next move and the easiest way to scale things up so you can take it easy on your shoulders and your knees in the meantime. Because at the end of the day, it is physical activity and it is for everyone, but you also wanna be smart about it. Okay, so I gotta be honest, I was a little skeptical at first at adding in quite a bit more movement. You gotta understand where I'm coming from here, being a competitive strength athlete for you know almost 20 years. Uh, I've been, it's been drilled into me that more movement, cardio-based stuff, if anything was gonna impact my strength. I remember sometimes there being, you know, heavyweight powerlifters that would have to walk 500 meters to the venue where we compete and they would get uh, a taxi to pick them up because they didn't want to move to conserve energy. This is the kind of thing that was drilled into me. So I thought by doing more movement, more cardio based stuff and a weighted vest stuff that my <clears throat> energy levels would tank, that I wouldn't be as strong. And I found it was actually completely the opposite. I was able to handle more training volume overall, which is counterintuitive, but that's what happened, which I'll tell you about in a second. One of the craziest aspects of actually adding in more movement, more steps, and even weighted steps has been the impact it's had on my training. As you can see here, this is me logging all of my training volume for the last 18 months. Uh, you can see this is like total volume. I'm in the last week of September here, and I've already done 141,000 kilograms of volume. I'm gonna smash an all-time volume PR with a week left here, um, which is almost double than what I have been doing 18 months ago doing a lot less <clears throat> cardio and movement and all that stuff. So this has been one of the biggest surprises overall is that I'm actually doing quite a bit more movement, which is counterintuitive. You'd think, you know, you're actually gonna drain yourself, it's gonna be less, but I'm recovering a lot faster and I'm actually able to handle more training volume and I'm stronger than ever and a lot lighter, which is like the best of, you know, every world essentially by doing some weighted walks, which is the coolest thing. And then the next thing was the actual impact on my body composition as well. So without having to change a single thing about my nutrition, I was eating just as much food, if not a little bit more, I was actually able to get quite a bit leaner and retain muscle. And I have some of the body comp testing results to prove that. I retained all of my muscle, was able to eat just as much amount of food, and I actually dropped around like six pounds over four weeks, which is incredible results. And it was all just due to adding in a little bit of resistance as I was walking and as I was moving. I started with the 25 pound vest. I have, it's a 35 pound vest, but I just had, took 10 pounds out of it, did that for two weeks, and then adjusted it up for another 10 pounds and things are moving even quicker now. I can't keep up with the amount of food that I need to eat. So I was able to train a lot harder, work up my actual training volume to levels that I'd never had done before in the same amount of training too. I was just able to add in a few more sets here and there. But the other thing that was like quite remarkable and caught me by surprise was I was able to be like a lot more productive in my work as well. Like when I sat down, I was focused and I think it has a lot to do with just making, you know, positive choices early in the day and that helps build momentum. And I'm going to touch on that in a second. So one thing I did identify over like the last six months is that I had gained some weight. I wasn't in a great place. My cholesterol levels were increased. I knew I needed to do something. Uh, and one thing that I've noticed year after year is during the winters, I do not move enough. And we're talking like a very low level of steps, 2000 steps a day, 3000 steps a day. I take care of people all day at my desk with their nutrition and their health, wasn't taking care of my own. So working up my steps was the easiest ways to do that. But I'm also busy. I don't have tons of time to work that type of stuff in. So being able to add in something like this, make it progressive, was one of the easiest things I can do. And I think it's all about the challenge is that like a lot of times we just get way too comfortable. And for me, I think what's worked really well with this is that I have something to focus on. It's objective allows me to push myself, allows me to measure things, and I've been able to stick with it. It's allowed me to connect with people that are doing similar things, and it's been one of the best changes, all because I'm challenging myself. I'm no longer comfortable. I'm out here doing a video uh, in public, walking with a weighted vest on. It's crazy the places life will take you when you have a little bit of a challenge. So in many ways, this entire rucking experience was completely transformational, both 
on paper and the results I got, but also the off paper stuff, which I wanna talk about in a second because that was just as important. Uh, if you're anything like me, you know you need to get more steps in, but you're also kind of obsessed with like making things more optimal and productive. And if you could kill you know, three birds with one stone and do more things while you're getting your steps in, that's fantastic. So through this process, you know, I'd get more steps in in the morning. My wife, Amy, would come with me. Obviously, that was good for our relationship in terms of us being able to uh, connect and chat. She's also an entrepreneur in a very similar space. And in many ways, she's completely crushing me. So we were able to talk about business stuff, but also personal stuff. Our dog came and, you know, he got more exercise in. So that was good for him as well. There was so much stuff about prioritizing this uh, that made it helpful but also fun and that type of thing. When I didn't have anyone with me, I was able to like toss in an audiobook, get my steps in, make it more challenging, as well as really grow my business because if you're a coach, you don't your business doesn't improve working in your business. It improves when you're going through different experiences, learning different things, listening to different ideas and insights. That's when you really improve. So in many ways, this wasn't just about what I was doing with a weighted vest on. It was about all the things I was able to do because I now prioritize that time. All right, I'm just out the door here to do another one. Uh, I get another walk in. I think the biggest challenge for me moving forward is, am I gonna be able to keep up with this through the Canadian winter? I'm, I, I do plan on getting out and putting it under my jacket and keeping up with it. I might revisit the standing desk, although I don't enjoy it as much as you know getting outside and enjoying nature and that type of thing, but I might be able to do that with the vest on, standing desk, that type of thing. If you're thinking about getting into rucking, adding some weight to your walks, take it slow and steady, make it progressive. Don't, you wanna milk out each level before you get to the next one. So don't just go to the heaviest thing you can do and the longest you can do it right off the bat. It needs to be progressive like anything else. Your knees and joints, they will thank you as well as you'll see the benefits as you go. Now, if you're thinking about doing this stuff, I do encourage it, just take in slow and steady, and hopefully you see the same benefits that I did. But as great as all these tips are, if you're really serious about starting a nutrition coaching business, the next thing I'm gonna have you do is check out this video I've linked up right here. Today we talked all about weighted vests and rucking, and I wanna stick with that theme, but just talk about the importance of walking overall. I'm gonna do all of that in the next video, so you can check it out right here. So make sure to check it out now, and I'll see you in the next video.